the past simple. Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn a very important verb tense in English. The past simple. First, we have to differentiate between two types of verbs. Regular verbs. And, irregular verbs. Regular verbs, make their past form by adding. E. D. We must learn the rules, to add the suffix. They normally add, E. D to the verb. If the verb ends in e, we only add d. If the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, the last consonant is doubled. Be careful. To double the consonant, the final syllable must be stressed. If the verb ends in consonant y, we change y to i and then add ed. In the case of irregular verbs, they must be learned by heart. Why should I learn them? Because they have a different form in the past each. Okay, I will study irregular verbs. Now, pay attention to the structure. In affirmative, first, we need a subject. And then, the verb in past tense form. I played basketball last night. In negative, don't forget the subject. Then, the auxiliary didn't. And finally, the verb, in base form. We didn't win the match. And, in interrogative. A question word first, if required. The auxiliary did, the subject. And the verb, in base form. Did you like the match? No, I didn't. For short answers, we use yes or no. Followed by the subject and the auxiliary did. Now, we will talk about the uses of this tense first. It is used to talk about a completed action in a certain moment in the past. Yesterday, he baked a cake. Secondly, it can be used to talk about a permanent state in the past. John lived in a big house when he was a child. Finally, we will see some time expressions. Now, you can use the past simple, good job. 